hey guys welcome back to my another video and this video is going to be about the uh, discord api and google app script so basically what we are going to do is when we submit our google form then we want to get a notification on discord so now let's see how we can achieve those so discord provide the apis where we can use it to get a push notification on discord channel so first thing we need to know that how the api works so in discord api uh, we're gonna use a webhook uh, for this one we could also use a bot uh, the discord also provide the api for bot but for that one we need to get the authentications on the bot and we, we need to set up the bot that's a different work the easiest way to set up is the uh, the webhook so in the webhook basically here it says that the webhook are a low effort way to post a message to a channel in the discord and the webhook uh, do not require any bot or user authentications. The webhook provide their own uh, token key here called webhook token. That's how the Discord build this APIs. So in the webhook, we will get a webhook token and in the webhook ID and using this uh, endpoint, basically this is a get, but there is a post as well. Uh, it should be here on the bottom somewhere right here in execute post using this api we could able to get a notification in discord so now let's see how this was really working at this point i already built this first so i'm going to show you how it really works so i have here the uh, survey and i already uh, wrote a script that will post in a discord so now let's submit this first and i have a response already which i did so i'll just clear all my responses at this time so the first thing is let me run this survey to run it i need to click on send and i need to get this url and post it on a new tab here so i can provide my email address here so i'll just put as a test at this point and i have only one survey here what is your favorite programming language i'll just pick javascript at this time and i'll just do submit so now it will submit my uh, response here and I already got a notifications here in, in programming here. What is your favorite programming language JavaScript? And this is the email address which is responded a survey. So now let's see how we can achieve those. We will set up this everything on this video. So now let's get started. So basically I have a survey Google Forms here. So now let's see that I will create a new forms. So go here and create a blank forms. So here, this is going to be my YT survey, basically YouTube survey. And the question is, uh, same question, I'm gonna put it here. What is your favorite programming language? And the option is going to be a same. I have created the uh, one question here, the similar like the before, what is your favorite programming language? And here is the uh, questions here. And on the setting, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to collect the email address and I want to make this as limit per one person. That means the he or she might need to sign in on the uh, Google account to complete this survey. So once the survey is ready, so now let's see how this survey works. So using this link, I will go in the survey and I will paste it here and it's YT survey and this is my the uh, survey looks like so in the survey what happens is each and every of the survey the Google provides something called app script where we can we can write our uh, script here so you click on this button app script is gonna provide here we can write the functions here and he on the top here we can provide the on the name of this project that this is going to be a U YouTube survey of functions maybe we'll do our YouTube survey functions the name of this project so in this functions now we could provide write our code here so before I code here we need to know where it need to go right we want it it, it need to go to the discord so now let's go to jump to the discord and we will come back later on so now let's go for a discord now so I am in this discord here uh, let me go in the discord so I have a channel that has created as a code took here so now let me create a new channel from scratch so i'll just create here a new channel and this is for my uh, maybe the community it's sam lama servers it's fine i'll just create a sam lama server here and i'll just do a create so once i create my sam lama server has been created here looks good and right when i right click on here it has a pro provided functionality of the uh, server setting 
of the uh, integration so in the integrations we have the uh, webhook here we can create our own webhook which will provide a token so if i click on webhook then we will see as the uh with the webhook here and we want to also pick we can also pick the channel which channel what we want okay let's see that we want to in general at this time so the webhook name we can also provide what kind of webhook name we want and we can put like this i'll just do a copy url so if I go back in widget and if I go in integration, then we also see that one webhook has been created. As I copy the uh, URL from webhook, so now let's see how the webhook URL works. So this is my webhook URL works. So basically this is going to be my uh, the webhook ID and this is going to be my webhook token. And this is not going to expire. So that's why we could able to use it as multiple times. But if somebody will get this, then they might also can trigger the webhook on your channel so on that case you might need to delete it and create another one so now we have already created this guy and we have the webhook url now we need to make sure that this is working to make sure that this is working let's go in my postman and i will just do a post request okay i am in a postman here so i will just paste that discord post uh, url in points here so once i go and post it here what i need to make sure that i have the body here and this is what is the body is looked like and we could also get this information how to wrote this uh, the JSON format what has been a documented structure in a discord API here in a JSON format or a form params we could able to use this all these other uh, this property in a JSON or a form params when we are submitting the post request to the uh, discord so I have already created a couple of this uh, property here for a discord so what i'm going to do now is i will just click on this send so once i send it I'm sam get... lama said send yep i also get that the message sam lama sends in and basically here is the i have getting here the uh, the empty message and if i go in general not in general sorry where is that my discord portal yes in general and cancel this and go to back back my channel and here it is this is a response which is come from postman it's called send and yes the it the bot also uh, provide a voice talk uh, the reason why is here tts is true uh, if we do tts is false then we will uh, not receive the voice message from the a bot Otherwise, we will receive a void message from the bot. So this is the reason here and we could provide our content. So content is basically the message and in embedded here, basically in embedded is basically on this small, this box here, what we can put it here. So I put title as test. That's why it's going to show as a test. We can also put a URL here. So if the user will click it, then it will open the URL like this. I put the Discord URL on my postman. Uh, so that's why it's going to show up. And in thumbnail, basically, we can also provide uh, the picture of the uh, the thumbnail if we want to put any embedded picture there. So that's why what we see it here. So that this is coming from postman, but we want to achieve this from Google Apps Script. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this now. So now I have an empty channel here, which is perfectly fine. So now let's go back to the uh, Google Apps Script. So in a Google here, basically, this is my the old one, I believe. Uh, so if I go in my old one survey here, I have already wrote a script. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the script. I'm not going to write this all the script. I'm just going to explain how that work. So I'll just go in my YouTube, which is I recently created the new one. And in my app script, I have created the UIT survey functions, which I did that before. So I'll just what I'm going to do is I'll just paste this the functions here. So basically, this is the function which is going to post in our uh, Discord channel. So so this is the endpoint that we, we need to provide at the time of posting the uh, Google app script. So basically, we need to get this uh, URL that what we use in a postman. So I'll just copy this one and I'll just paste it here. So now what we have it is here. So when the form, basically the Google form will submit, then it will execute these functions. And in these functions, what we're going to get is the form will get the active form, which is recently open. Basically, this guy, it's the YouTube survey, will be executed. And when it's executing, we will get the all the response here. Form that get response, all the response, not only a single response, but we'll get all the response. But we are not interested in all response. We are interested in the latest one. So get the last one from this array. So basically, we'll get all the response in array. So we're we'll getting the last one here. So once we're getting the last one here, then what we're gonna get is we're gonna get from get item response, we'll get a response. And I also activate the the people. Uh, 
need to provide an email address that's why we are also getting as a get or responded email address in the response we will get the all the response of question and answer that will provided by the user but here what we get is we just get an email address here so in a question basically in a response we're going to loop it up and we're going to get the questions here by using a get item and get title and from get response we'll get the answer here and in this content basically it's just concatenating it's just adding up it's just adding up the question and answer and making it as a string here so once it, if content is ready so i have used i have shown before you guys the uh, postman here the json format and this is basically the json format in the payload here so basically it's creating here the options for a posting now it's getting ready to post in the discord so now this is the uh, json.stringifier functions basically it's uh, making the uh, the object into the string format and that's what we are doing to here and in embedded we are embedding the uh, the same the title from the form we can able to get a title here and description basically is a content that we concatenated and the time span just one time submitted and submitted as a header as the content type application JSON and matter as a post and mute HTTP exception is if there is any error we're gonna mute it if there you want to say the error you can make it true but we can mute this and and we are ready to go and here and there is a Google Apps Script provide of functions posted similarly like a fetch API in JavaScript or Axios uh, library uh, or the uh, the Ajax call it provides something called URL fetch API and in a fetch we could provide our endpoint which is basically going to be our webhook and the uh, options and when it's done then it's going to post in our discord so our script is ready but we need to make sure that this script is running at the time of the form summit so how are we gonna do that so Google provides something called triggers here so if I go for triggers here so in add triggers now we could able to pick our functions and we have a submit functions only one so we'll just pick that one and the choose the deployment should run maybe we'll put as a head and here the form we're not gonna do a time driven or a from calendar we're gonna do from form labels okay so when we're gonna do on submit then we're gonna trigger this submit function right here and if there's something's happened then yes we want to notify immediately okay so once I save this so now our trigger will be a saved our trigger will be a saved but it says that the script is authorizing pail so the reason why is we need to provide the authentications to our account that the function of this app it must be registered so we will get something will pop off here so we just need to click it here so once I click it I need to log in in my account so it says that the app request for Google app developer need to be a authenticate so basically we create a YouTube survey function app and that is not registered in our account so we need to make sure that we need to give a provide to the our account so for that one we need to click on this pop-off and advance and we need to go and go to YouTube function on save and now we need to provide this function to access to our Google account so I'll just to allow it so now our Google account has been authorized so now we could able to save this so once I save it now we will see on the form submit of the trigger has been registered here so whenever now this form will submit it will execute the code and code will post on the discord so let's see how it really works so now let's go for a survey so this is the survey here I don't have any response at this time so I will just do as a send here and I'll just copy this one and I think I already opened his one okay good so I'll put my the test here email and JavaScript and submit so now on my Discord here we see it. The test the test basically is some of a survey and it's a YouTube survey which is the name and what is your favorite language is JavaScript. So that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna put this all the uh, scripting code of app survey in uh, GitHub. And if you guys like my video, please do subscribe and like my channel. And thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in next video.